Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video I'll be showing you a beginner's guide on how to polish brass with a mirror finish by hand. I'm using a piece of raw brass so you can see it's quite rough and it definitely needs more work than compared to what you may find on a machined piece or something that has been already finished just needing a refinish. I've already done this but start by washing the piece first to remove any contaminants which may cause polishing issues. I'll show you a couple different examples between sandpaper and abrasive pads along with the difference in polishing when you don't use a higher grit abrasive. Depending on the surface's finish will depend on what type of grit of sandpaper is required. For this I start out with 600 grit sandpaper. This needs to be a wet dry compatible paper. The sandpaper does need to be pre-soaked before we start the sanding process. I have a bucket of water beside me. If you wish you can also mix in soap. This helps with lubrication that can allow for a finer finish. For this tutorial, I'm just using straight water. For heavier damage, the lower grit is required. However, when you go to a lower grit, this also means that more material will be removed and as you increase to a slightly higher grit, more work is required to remove those heavier grit scratches. When starting out with that first grit of sandpaper, most of the surface imperfections should have been removed. This is basically a rough end step. As you can see the high and low spots are showing up. Rinse off the surface to remove any excess sanding material and always keep the sandpaper well lubricated. Once satisfied this is what I'm left with. Moving up to 1000 grit wet dry sandpaper. The reason I am wet sanding is so that the dust is kept down and we can achieve a finer finish. The black backing pad I have keeps even pressure on the surface with minimal distortion. If you are using your fingers then you may notice an uneven surface or waves. For irregular shaped surfaces you can also use a foam backer instead. After a couple minutes of sanding you'll notice the sanding marks are much finer and we can now move up to 1500 grit. Using the exact same process with the 1500 grit sandpaper, rinse off excessive material buildup and make sure the sandpaper is well lubricated. Compared to other materials I have polished in the past, I do find brass tends to be a little more sticky when moving up to finer grits. After a couple more minutes with 1500 grit, here's what I'm left with. And now 2000 grit sandpaper. After this, you can take it another step using 3000 grit, but for this I'm finishing up with 2000. The finer grit allows you to achieve a higher shine with more clarity. This is what I'm left with after 2000 grit. Now for an additional example using an abrasive pad. Just like sandpaper these two are available in various grits and is typically distinguished by the color of the pad. The maroon pad is listed as being 320 to 400 grit. These can be used with water as well which I'm doing. These pads are great for regular shaped objects but they don't necessarily remove surface imperfections. Instead they smoothen or round off those imperfections. Sandpaper with a backer on the back on the other hand can promote more of a smooth surface. Moving up to a finer grit this pad is green and rated at about 600 grit. Always keep the area well lubricated and rinse away any excessive material. I'll be stopping here to demonstrate what happens when you don't use a finer grit before moving on to a polishing compound. This illustration helps explain the difference between using sandpaper and abrasive pads. Starting out with the existing surface and surface imperfections, each has high and low spots. With the sandpaper and a backing pad, this helps remove material evenly and also takes down the high spots from cratering marks. If you want those deeper marks to be completely gone, more material does need to be removed unfortunately. So this can result in more work, thinner surface and change dimensions. When using abrasive pads they may leave the surface uneven and won't remove surface imperfections completely. Instead it will round off those markings and craters. Which method you go with is really your personal preference and what type of shine you want to achieve. Now moving on to the polishing stage. You can use a polishing compound such as what is used on automotive paints or metal or alloy specific polish. Here I am using an aluminum wheel polish. I typically start out with a soft paper towel first as the metal polish can make cloths quite dirty and hard to clean afterwards. 
paper towel can be easily thrown away and we can finish up with a soft cloth at the end. Apply the polish to the cloth and work it into the surface. I will be polishing both areas I use sandpaper and then the abrasive pads on. Work the polish into the surface, apply more polish when needed and wipe away the old polish when it gets too excessive. The polish will turn black which is perfectly normal as it's removing a very light amount of material. Once the surface is almost finished, finish up with a light amount of polish on a soft cloth. And this is what we're left with. You can see some mild scratching, therefore more polish would be needed. There is still some surface imperfections, but they are much less than compared to what we started with. Finishing up with only the 600 grit abrasive pad, while it's still somewhat shiny, it doesn't have the clarity than compared to using a finer grit, such as the 2000. You can also see the existing raw finish before we started on the other parts of the brass bar. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me, and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful, or you would like to share polishing tips. And if you're not a subscriber, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.